Okay, well, a wee while ago, um, I did upload a video of um, my top 10 most anticipated movies for the year. And I left number one out, so you guess it. Um, unfortunately, no one's guessed it or guessed it correctly. And, well, um, just going to give you a quick recap. Now, I have actually seen a lot of the films from the top 10 list now since a lot of them have come out since. Because, uh, I'll give you a quick recap. Um, number 10 was Cowboys and Aliens. Number 9, Kung Fu Panda 2. Number 8, Sucker Punch. Number 7, Rango. Number 6, True Grit. Number 5, Battle Los Angeles. Number 4, Unknown. Number 3, 127 Hours. Number 2, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Yeah. Um, and I've already seen... Um, I've already seen quite a bit of them. I saw Rang I saw my number seven, Rango, yesterday. I saw number six, True Grit, quite a while back. I just uploaded my review yesterday. And I have seen Unknown. I saw that on its opening Friday. I and I have seen 127 hours. Um I saw that about two weeks ago. So um yeah, what's my number one? It was originally going to come out March 31st, and I was really excited for it, but now it's been pushed back till over a month, until May 5th. It was going to come out March 31st, but now it's coming out May 5th, which I'm upset about, but it just gives me more time to get excited for it. And more's come out since then. Oh, that movie is, of course, Source Code. Um... I am, wow, I'm really looking forward to Source Code. The first trailer which came out, I was like, yes, yeah, this looks pretty good. I'm I'm really excited. This, is, this looks good. Yeah, come, give me some stuff. And then I did some research on it. Found out it was directed by Duncan Jones. Duncan Jones. I mean, come on. He d <coughs> I know he's only done one movie, but Moon. Come on, we're talking about Moon. Moon is just a fantastic movie. Moon was probably... I, I was... I'm not usually, really, usually, literally on the edge of my seat, but for Moon, I was literally on the edge of my seat the entire time. Okay, maybe that's because I saw the set of Paramount and or some of those seats where the you feel like you're just gonna collapse, they're gonna fold up right onto you, but, um, yeah, you had to, but no, no the, the movie really, I was on the edge of my seat for that, that was, that was one suspenseful movie, and, uh, um, and it was one of the first movies which made me cry in the movie cinema, ah, it was so effective that scene, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about, you know, when he's Skyping his daughter, like, oh my gosh, that was just so emotional. And Source Code just looks equally as fantastic, because Duncan Jones said, since Moon came out, he said he was going to make three movies with, I'm not sure if he said three movies in total, so that's Moon and then two other movies, or if it was going to be Moon and three other movies, but he said he was going to, yeah, I think it was just three movies total, he said he was going to make three movies with the kind of um, same atmosphere to it as Moon, so this means this is going to have the same kind of atmosphere to it as Moon, and that just, I'm sold already. If the trailer looks good, the second trailer, which is only about a minute long, but still, that, that explains more, because I think some people were really confused um, by the first trailer about what's about. And now I've seen just some behind-the-scenes footage, and the, I've seen the first five minutes. Um, it's been... I, I'll, put the, I'll put the link to everything source code down on the link. Uh, yeah, source code just looks so good. The first five minutes were... Well, um, uh, I think... It was so, so fast-paced. Now, that was the thing which kind of, I think I had a problem with with Moon. It was kind of like, I mean, I, I wouldn't say it had slow pacing for it, not at all. But at the end, it was just so quickly paced. I just didn't know what was going on. I was 
was. Ah. My brain exploded of confusion, but source code looks so excellent. I mean, Jake Gyllenhaal looks like he's actually acting for once in this. Vera Farmiga, um, I don't know what she's really been in, but I did love her in Up in the Air, so I, I think I'm sold to that. Um, yeah, because it's about this guy, and he has to... He's put in a source code, so he um, relives this. Um, he's put into the identity of this um, other man who was on this train which blew up and everybody died. So he, uh, yeah, he's he has to go back in time and keep on reliving this incident until he finds who the bomber is, because six, in six hours there's going to be another attack from these bombers, so they want to prevent the next um, accident, so I, I, I think this could be really good. It has potential, and I just know it's going to pay off. It's directed by Duncan Jones, and Moon was excellent. Moon did that job perfectly, and yeah, Duncan Jones said this is going to be quite similar to Moon. Um, I wonder, I wonder what his um, next movie is going to be after this, because that's supposed to have another, it's supposed to have the same atmosphere to it as Moon. So, yeah, um, source code looks fantastic. It just does. Because I said this was kind of on scales, kind of like a, t oh, 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 no, 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 which is my most anticipated, Harry Potter or this. I'm definitely going to have to say source code, because... We haven't, I'm a little worried with Harry Potter, to be honest. I feel it's going to be really rushed because there's too many plot lines and I think it's going to be too much to just cram into three hours. So, uh, and I never thought I'd be saying that because three hours is, <laughs> is a lot of time for a movie. So, uh, but, and we haven't seen any trailers yet. I want to see a trailer so I can judge and it's source code. There, I'm, I'm seeing stuff, heaps of stuff of it, and it looks fantastic. And they're keeping it, and I like how they're releasing all this stuff for the movie, and they're still keeping it a secret who the bomber is, or what the twist is going to be. Ah, that is clever. Very clever. Because that's a thing most movies have these days. They release all this stuff, and it's like, oh, please, we want to have some stuff that we don't know when we go into the movie. But source code very well marketed. The I can tell it's gonna be fantastic because if it's anything like Moon, which I know it will be, because Duncan Jones said it will, and I loved Moon. So yeah, um if you haven't heard of this movie you really should. Um I I'll put the link for the trailer for Moon, the trailer for Source Code and the first five minutes of Source Code in there. So yeah. That's source code, my most anticipated film of this year. And that's me for today.